YouTube. I'm uh, up here doing, doing my thing like I always do. You know, crawling and swimming in it. So I had to get up over there. The T-bar goes down. You see the light and then crawl over the top of this walking box. This one here, I'm not going to lie. Had a leak. Found one leak, fixed it. Two weeks later, I'm back out. Can't find a leak today. I was determined. I pumped it up to 350 PSI with my nitrogen. That's what I found. That's where it's leaking. That's a Danfoss solenoid. And that was an SOB to find. I'm going to tell you right now, that was not fun. But it feels so good to find it. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, sometimes you get your butt kicked. I crawled every inch of this thing. All right, I got to get some parts. Okay, on these Danfoss solenoid valves, this is it. That's the stem. Right there. Inside, it's just got your spring. Your plunger. Looks like it has a Teflon seat on there. So when the coil energizes, it pulls pulls it up, and when it's de-energized, the spring pushes it down the seal. That's it. Inside the valve is that. You got your diaphragm here. You can see that that face seals off the top of that diaphragm right there. And you get this brass retaining ring. It's on there like that, and all you get is this O-ring. You can see it's rounded on this side, and it's been flattened out by the top on that side, and that's where it was leaking. So I don't know if this O-ring is the wrong material. just goes back together like that and that's what seals it on these damn boss solenoid valves on the spoiling you got the nut that screws on so I probably have to say I like the design of the spoiling better as you saw where that was leaking here's another interesting thing my H10 battery operated H10 did not pick up that leak I was only able to find that leak when I pumped up the pressure really high so the life of leak checking. So I thought I'd show you guys that the damn boss selling our dial.